Welcome back to Carolina Rock Cuddles. Today we are doing something I've been wanting to do for a very long time. I'm sure the thumbnail has already told you what we're doing, but we are putting tiny tiles on the Outlander because why not chest out? We got like a hundred horsepower. Let's see what happens if we put tiny tiles. I've been wanting to do this for years. If y'all remember like three, four years back, Braden Price, Kyle, everybody did this. And I wanted to do it, but my fool at the time did not have enough horsepower to do it. I was told that the brute force, uh, uh, not IRS, but the solid axle will actually bolt onto the KM. And we're about to find out. So this, I took the jack down. I had it jacked up, as you can see, with a little montage. But uh, just look at the difference in tiles, people. Like, I mean, the, I mean, come on. That's a lot of difference. I can't wait to see how much power this thing has with a little, are they 26s or 25s? I don't know. 25s. So 25s. Sadly, we got wides and uh, narrows, so sad but uh anyways let me go ahead and uh let's get these on people what's up guys this is your boy m dizzle today we got that carolina squad we got the six inch drop shackle so this thing's just on the ground got the front lifted six inches man so that way we are the coolest people we can't see where we're going we're probably gonna run over some pedestrians but who needs them pedestrians man get out my way i'm the man don't forget that varsity team back in the day we got four championships man i might be 30 but guess what i'm still the best football player ever around this thing has a squat it is the baddest tahoe ever oh wait no that's my can am i'm sorry i thought it was tahoe but uh, anyways whenever we hit one of them speed bumps and it scratches my bumper we're gonna sue everybody because it's not our fault that we got it too low it's their fault walmart i'm telling you you scratch my bumper you're going to jail we're sending you straight to jail taking all wally Wald's money what's you got the bluetooth speaker is Bluetooth, meaning you can't see it, guys. It's Dale, though. There's a big old sub, 1412s, tweakles, everything. But you can't see it because it's Bluetooth and it's invisible. Don't worry. It's Dale. You just, just because you can't see it, don't mean it's Dale. We got the loud exhaust with no muffler because we want, because <coughs> <coughs> we want everybody to know when we're coming because we're just that big bowl. So we got the uh, back tires on and all I can say is, <laughs> what the hell is even that, people? What the hell is even that? I mean, look at it. She got that kettle on her squat. Now, what the world was I thinking? Ew. So, we needed flat nuts, and all we have is the little oval ones. I don't know what they're technically called. So, uh, we're just making it work. We're just, we're just making it work. But this has to be the goofiest thing I've ever seen. Oh, my gosh. I, I say, I say we go drive it around like this. It feels so weird. Like, the back end is just sitting all down. Holy crap, look how wide they stick out because it's supposed to be for a solid axle. Okay, let's do low. All the way in low. Woo! Okay, that was great. Back to high. So the problem is I thought I had brakes, but I didn't. I have brakes for the back. I have brakes for the back, but not the front, so. Sadly, I was gonna hold the brakes and do a bond out, but no brakes. Come on, baby. <laughs> okay, I had my fun. Let's throw off the front tiles and go ahead and put the uh, little tiles on. This, that front end was literally trying to lift up because I tried to bond it, and without having the front brakes, the front end was literally just whee! I was like, how's it doing that? But the problem is, I know dang well with the angle it's at, it's going to break something. So let's take the front tires off. And okay, people. Three, two, one. Bam, people. Look at her on the little baby tiles. She's so cute. That has to be the ugliest thing I've ever seen. It really does. That thing looks hideous. So uh, let's throw some air on the tiles and let's take her out and see how much a 100 horsepower modal can do with little baby tiles. Don't know if we're going mud today because honestly, those tiles will just stick us and I don't know what we do if we get stuck. So uh, let me go ahead, put air in it and slap on a GoPro. So everything on this foiler was tuned for big old tiles and high horsepower. So it's gonna be crazy to see just how well this thing does for little baby 25s. I don't like not having brakes, I really don't. I really gotta change the wheel bands. I forgot that I, they were getting a little loose. They were fine, I just changed them like six months ago, but apparently mud does not like them. Oh, let's put it low. Woo! Holy moly! He took off fast! Oh crap, the 
they dug it out. Why do they keep digging my heels out? Hello. She don't want to make it. Oh, might have put herself in a hole. These are not good tiles. <laughs> We're stuck. to the bone she does scare me though every time i take off the thing wants to spin so bad that it tries to throw me off but what are you gonna do let's go ahead and throw our old tiles back on eventually okay we got the gym one all back together we got the nice tiles on it and we got all loaded up so let's go play in some mud in this form i was gonna do it with the little tiles but i ain't gonna lie guys i was kind of bored with it. it it didn't do as well as i thought it was gonna do like he was burning the tiles off but one of the tiles was flat i couldn't keep it out and if i had someone to push again so i could just burn the tiles off that was the plan but i couldn't find it anywhere and my brakes i didn't have the right brake pads so i couldn't hold the brakes so yeah so instead we're taking her out in the mud so i will catch y'all in a second with the gopro on at the mud hole we got the GoPro on. We are at the hole. We are going to full send it and see what happens. I'm so ready to put some mud, people. I'm debating on doing it in high gear, which if you know me, I'm anti-high gear. But if the belt goes out, it's about time to replace it. So we're going to send it high gear. It is really bad here. We have stopped almost every pool in this hole. So uh, let's slap the GoPro on. or It's already on. Let's get it set up and let's roll. Okay, I think we're ready. Let's uh, pull drive. Because if you know me, I love that four-wheel drive on at first. A lot of people will wait till they get stuck, but once you're stuck, you're screwed. I know the winch works, so we're good there. Man, I'm a little skittish. This hole has stopped us a many a time. And uh, if we get stuck, I, we have trees, but with Crocs on, we're probably going to find some snakes. Oh, let's see what we got. fluffy and I hate them let's do low gear because I just don't think we're gonna quite get the run I want gonna get it one more time people one more time just gonna have so much fun we're gonna do low again because like he's noticed once we get that thick mud she starts fogging down and if we do if we didn't have the speed we would have never made it last time Woo. man Good 
open up to the house. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think that was a successful mud. I mean, oh my gosh, I am filthy. My glasses, my camera, like, but that's how much fun she is full sending. I really want to do a small towel, but everybody knows gone. And I was like, you know what? That's just going to be boring. I mean, it'd be funny, but without an outside view, I felt like it was going to be lackluster and we didn't have nobody. So why not just full send her with all tiles on it? And that was so much fun. Anyways, guys, I hope you like this video and I will see you on the next one. Well, who knows what we're going to get into. I will see y'all then.